Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, we're going to go over the US dollar and we basically want to figure out if the US dollar is a good long-term investment or if it's a bad investment. And if it is a bad investment, we want to figure out uh, what are some of the alternatives that we can begin to move some of that cash so that we don't lose our value, but more importantly, uh, grow it over time. And so if I look at the 30-year chart here of the US dollar, um, I basically see that the US dollar has decreased in value over time. In 1986, the US dollar was worth $118. In 2020, uh, December 2020, it's now worth $90. So, so if you had $112 30 years ago, that money would be worth less today because of inflation, because of the, the prices of consumer goods is increasing. And so we, we wouldn't have the, the same amount of value um, if we held those dollars for 30 years. And so if we look at the percentage decrease, we see that the U.S. dollar has decreased about uh, 25% in the last 30 years. Uh, so that is a very strong indicator that, that the U.S. dollar is not a good long-term investment. So uh, if you're someone who has a large sum of cash just sitting in a bank account, um, you know, you, you might want to think about starting to move those dollars into some, some investments or assets that grow in value over time. And so if we look at the, the historical price of gold, uh, you know, in 1982, gold was $358 per ounce. And we fast forward 30 years, uh, it's now worth $1,878 uh, per ounce. And so as, as a performance, uh, in the last 20 years, gold has performed uh, positive 587%. Um, so this makes a very interesting alternative because it, it's a it's another form of currency, and so it, it becomes an apples to apples comparison when you look at the dollar and you look at gold. Um, you know this this is a really interesting way to diversify your currency, and so uh, even countries use gold as a reserve uh, when their currency values are declining. Um, so you know this is a currency that can be used w worldwide. Okay, so the next thing we want to look at is what are some other investments that we can start to put our cash into. And if we look at a couple different uh, ETFs here, uh, this is the iShares Core US Aggregate Bond ETF. Uh, we see that the historical performance of this fund is uh, 4%, 4.25%. .4 and bonds is interesting because it's it's one asset class, I would say, that is, is one level up from cash uh, given uh, in terms of risk. Uh, so it's a relatively uh, safe asset class to put your money in and you can generate interest payments and uh, and it will grow over time. So let's look at how the bond compares to the S&P 500 uh, in the max chart here. So obviously uh, the S&P 500 has uh, increased uh, over time 252% uh, compared to the bond ETF. Uh, but bond is relatively safe as you see the values are uh, very low. Uh, volatility, um, not a whole lot of ups and downs versus the S&P 500. If you recall in the 2008 financial crisis, um, the, the S&P 500 lost, you know, looks like it lost more than 30 to 40 percent of its value, maybe even 50 percent. Uh, but since then has increased over time. And so you, you're going to have some volatility, volatility uh, when you're holding equities. But typically, if you have a, a balanced portfolio, um, with bonds, you should have less volatility. Less volatility. So again, uh, bonds over over the life of the fund has increased four four point twenty five percent. If we look at stocks, um, S SPY ETF, we'll see that this fund. Uh, ha we'll see how this fund has performed. Um, so the SPY ETF has performed nine point nine percent over the life of the fund. Um, so again, all all of these are really good uh, returns. You know, you have. U.S. stock equities, you have bonds, you, have, you can also even look into international stocks. Uh, let's look at international stocks. So if I search the VX, which is the international fund, Vanguard, uh, we can see what the performance is for Vanguard international stocks. Uh, large blend ETF, and it looks like the life of the fund has performed about 4.5%. Um, if we compare it to the S&P 500, then we see that the max uh, again, so it looks like the international uh, stock has performed about 4.25% since the life of the fund, and the S&P 500 has grown to about 9%.
uh, compared to the ETF. Uh, okay, so there, there you have it. Um, so again, probably not a, a bad idea if you have a large uh, bucket of cash uh, to begin to diversify into stocks, you know, bonds. You could even look into real estate. Obviously, gold has a historically uh, positive outlook or uh, performance in the last 30 years. Uh, but I, I think that the key, the main thing to take away from this video is cash devalues over time, uh, and it can be a bad investment if you hold if you hold a lot of it. And you might want to begin to diversify into some other asset classes. So uh, again, uh, I hope this video was helpful. You know, all of this is obviously for educational purposes and just to bring awareness to to the U.S. dollar. Uh, you know, if you're doing some sort of investing, you know, it's always recommended that you do your own research or speak with a licensed professional. Um, so I hope this video was helpful. Please leave any questions or comments down below. Like, subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Thank you.